dear learners and listeners, this is your teacher host, Teacher Jessica Alinari Villa, and welcome to another episode of Salida Teleradio. Right here, right now at 98.3 Gold FM, ang Radio Astig ng Tagum. Without further ado, let me introduce to you our teacher broadcaster for today. He is currently a grade 8 MAPI teacher in La Filipina National High School and he is very much ready and willing to impart a new lesson on Music 8. Please help me welcome teacher Dan Arvin V. Almero. Thank you, Ma'am Jess, for the introduction. So once again, good morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of our Teleradio here at La Filipina National High School. And we are simulcasted in Gold FM 98.3 ang Radio Astig ng Tagum. Okay? Our uh, topic for this morning is all about Unit 4, Musical Theater and Festival of Asia, Indonesian Theater. Okay? Again, I am your teacher broadcaster, Mr. Dan Arvin V. Almero for this morning. But before we'll go on to our main discussion, let's have first our objectives. Now, at the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Number one, identify the instruments accompany the wayang kulit. Number two, appreciate the importance of puppetry in Indonesia. And number three, create your own rhythmic pattern using innovative instruments that are available in your place okay that is our objectives to this time students prepare your paper pen and pencil to answer questions under in your pretest every item i will give you five seconds to answer now let's have question number one number one what does wayang kulit mean a shadows b shadow puppet Letter C, puppets. Letter D, puppeter. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is letter B, shadow puppet. Now, let's have number two. What does dalang mean? Letter A, clown. Letter B, puppet. Letter C, puppeteer. Letter D, screen. Your five seconds starts now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is Letter C, puppeter. Let's have number three. It is a two string bowed instrument in gamelan. Letter A, rebob. Letter B, soluk. Letter C, suling. Letter D, Salampong. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is letter A, the rebob. Let's have number four. Number four, it is a wooden or bamboo xylophone instrument in gamelan orchestra. Letter A, gambang. Letter B, suling. Letter C, Rebob. Letter D, Keno. Your 5 seconds starts now. Alright, the correct answer is letter A, Gambang. Let's have the last item. It is considered as the traditional orchestra that accompanies Wayang Kulit. Letter A, Javanese. Letter B, Philharmonic, letter C, Balinese, letter D, Gamelan. Your five seconds starts now. Alright, the correct answer is letter D, Gamelan. Okay, we are done with our pretest to jump off with our main discussion. Now, this time, our main discussion is all about Indonesian theater. Shadow Puppet Theater is a well-known and Indonesian theater, popular not only in their own country but spread in several countries around the world. In other terms, class, 
in shadow puppet is very well known in every countries in the world but the very popular shadow puppet theater in Indonesia is we have the wayang kulit okay wayang kulit in central java is the oldest continuous tradition of storytelling in the world which includes the use of puppet materials background with musical accompaniment to make it interesting to the audience now what do we mean by wayang kulit where is the word came from now the word wayang is an indonesian and a malay word for theater remember for that <clears throat> When the term is used to refer to kinds of puppet, okay, sometimes the puppet itself is referred to as wayang. In other words, plus wayang is puppet. Now, where is the kulit uh, came from? The kulit word means skin and refers to the leather construction of the puppets that are carefully cut into very fine tools and supported with carefully shaped buffalo horns, handles, and control or control rods. In other um, word class, the kulit means skin. Remember, wayang is a puppet, kulit is skin. Skin refers to the leather of or the material which is the leather um, construction of the puppet. Okay, next. We have the performance. Let's go to the performance of the wayang kulit. Now, the audience is the most important person in wayang kulit performance. Why? Why it is so? Because we have so-called connection. Connection to the performance and to the audience. Audience can relate the story about um, uh, portray on the wayang kulit stage, which is the main character of that is the puppet now the question is who manipulate the puppet the person manipulates the puppet is called the dalang the dalang prepares all the materials used like the cloth and the light for the shadow okay now we have different character in puppetry or in wayang kulit okay but the very um, um, usual character is um, the good and the bad side. So, where is the good or the bad side located on part of the stage? Remember, the puppet on the right side signifies the good character, right side. On the left hand side is the bad character. So, that is how to distinguish the wayang kulit character. Okay, furthermore, the open space between them about 2 meters wide represents the stage. So, doon uh, natin masasaksihan the movement and the uh, pattern or the story of the two character behind of Wayang Kulit Shadow Puppet. Okay, let's have the Dalang. As what, I, as what I said earlier, the Dalang is the person who manipulates the puppet. Now, what is the other character or attributes of the Dalang? The dalang is the puppeteer, okay? The dalang is characterized by his being creative, humorous, and flexible. The dalang manipulates the puppets, sing and taps out signals to the orchestra, and of course, speak the parts of all the um, character of the wayang kulit, okay? Those are the attributes that the dalang um, na naasa iya ha, class, okay? Kung wala ka ani, so it is very difficult to you to um, be a manipulator of the puppet of wayang kulit. Now, in other words, Dalang is the director of the whole performances. Alright, the use of voice is very um, common of uh, in the wayang kulit because it maintain or it is the main ability of the dalang to give more life to a different character of um, of wayang kulit puppet. Now, this is the main attributes na kailangan na as a dalang or na as a director because the only voice na we can hear to the whole performance is um, 
in the voice only of the dalang, right? So the dalang is the chief performer who told the story to accompaniment of gamelan and cymbal. So um, in other words, class, as what I said, no, the dalang is the director of the story, and um, he um, tap signals or he will point um, the gamelan if the group will start um, giving or uh, rendering music to the story of this um, Wayang Kulit performance. Now, Wayang Kulit was performed in royal court and widely performed in public on religious occasion. Okay? Remember this one, class, ha? This performance or this Wayang Kulit is um, signifies as being royal. So, it is being performed in front of the royal court family or the royal family in Indonesia. Okay? And of course, it is very connected. The performance of the dalang or the wayang kulit is connected in religious occasion. Okay? So, here we go to the uh, very um, important elements in wayang kulit performances. We have this one, the gamelan. Okay, what is gamelan? Gamelan ensemble is comprised mainly by bronze percussion instruments augmented by other percussion instruments like strings and a flute. Okay, this um, ensemble is comprises of percussion instrument in short. Right? Now, let's discuss one by one the different instruments under gamelan ensemble. Number one, we have saron. Saron is a xylophone of heavy bronze bars. Yes, saron. Dili, saron ko nita ha. So, this is a kind of instruments under gamelan ensemble. Now, I have here a sample video about this instrument. The saron is a belonging instrument shown here playing the basic melody for Latran Richik Richik. Okay, so that is the video about Saron. So as you can observe, um, this instrument is um, played by um, using a hard mallet. So this is the hard mallet as you can see and this is the plate. Now, um, as you can observe sa video kanina, no, the person who played the Saron is para siyang, um, <clears throat> he or she touches every plate na iyahang um, tapos ng mata because uh, what is the purpose of that one is to prevent vibration. Okay? Now, let's have the other um, instrument under gamelan ensemble. We have number two, the gender. Gender is bronze xylophone with resonance chamber beneath. So, this is the plate again, the plate of the xylophone and what do you mean by resonance chamber? So this is the part of the chamber which resonance. When you say resonance, it creates vibration and that vibration will create sound with particular pitch. Now, let's see what is the gender all about. Okay, as you can observe to the video, um, the difference between saron and gender, gender is, uh, you, you can observe the sound of gender is very hollow, bugnaw siya, and that is because of the resonance chamber beneath. Kaya sayang katong resonance chamber kanina na ako ang ginaistorya. Now, <clears throat> um, also you can observe um, this instrument played using mallet. But different sa saron, na ang kining sa gender, ang ginagamit na mallet is soft mallet. Okay? 
Nga nung soft, na nung na may hard nga mallet. Kaya remember this one class ha. Pag hard mallet, meaning this instrument is for outdoor. Pag soft mallet, that instrument is for indoor. Okay? So, meron na kayong nalalaman, di ba? So, let's have number three. The bonang. Bonang is a set of bronze balls. I have here a video of this instrument. Please watch. So that is the instruments all about bonang. Remember, bonang is a set of bronze bowls. Okay? As you can observe naman kanina sa video, the person who played is using mallet. Okay? It is a wood or wooden mallet but it is wrapped by a cloth so that the the tapping or the person who played will uh, not uh, make any um, hard sound because this instrument is particularly um, used in indoor. Okay? Kasagaran na performances sa uh, um, gamelan is indoor. Right? Now, let's have number four. We have the gong and kempol. Okay? This is very well known as hanging gongs because, as you can see, literally, ginabitay siya. Alright? Now, um, in the video, we can observe why it is the hanging gong is ginabitay and nga nung lailahi siya sizes. Now, let's watch the video. With the largest of the padded mallets. The gong gagging is always allowed to ring out. Alright, so, as you can observe, dili kay ni mo madunggan ang nyahang sound. Okay? As what I said earlier, no, pag dakot gani ang gong, mas hollow, mas low ang pitch niya. Tapos ginagamitan pa siya og indoor mallet, mas musamot og ka, soft ihang sound. So, this particular instrument is used only on the part of the gamelan na kung saan um, it signifies low sounds, okay? O low pitch sound. Now, what is the difference between small and um, large gong? Okay, pag sinabi mong small gongs, it creates high pitch sound and the a big gong is create ha low pitch sound. Let's have number five. Number five is kenong and ketok. Okay, this instrument is a single inverted bronze ball. Now let's um, watch this video. This is an example of the kenong and ketok patterns in slender bunch of udamas. As you can observe, gigamit niya po niya ang mallet na wooden mallet but it's wrapped by a cloth. Now, um, do you um, observe the high and low pitches of the instrument? So, uh, the bigger gong or the bigger bowl is the um, low pitches or produce low pitches sounds and the smallest um, bowl is produce high pitch of Sound. Now, let's have number um, six. The gangbang. Gangbang is a wooden 
xylophone. Now, let's watch this video about gambang instrument. Alright, so this instrument is called xylophone. Now, as you can observe, meron siyang tinatawag na plate. Every plate of this instrument indicates notes. So that notes creates sound or pitch using the soft mallet. Okay? So you can um, differentiate the, the, the sound now if the mallet is hard and the mallet is soft. Okay? Let's have... The number seven, the rebab. Rebab is a two-string fiddle. Now, this is the video of this instrument. Alright, okay, that is the rebab instrument. Rebab instrument is under in the family of violin. Now, but violin is, um, it is played horizontally, but this instrument is played vertically. And of course, the number of string is the four, okay? So, um, lahi ang iyang string and the number of string na naasa instrument is lahi po. Okay, let's have number eight, the suling. Suling is literally means flute, okay? A bamboo flute. Let's have this video. Ayan, that is the suling, the bamboo um, instrument, the flute bamboo instrument. That instrument has um, nine holes in uh, particular on the um, front side of the instrument to produce different pitches or sound. Let's have kendang. Kendang, horizontal drum beat with the fingers on both sides. Okay, this is the video of this instrument. Ayan. So, the bigger one instrument is, that is the kendang. So, you can observe, of course, uh, also the pitches, uh, the high and the low pitch of the sound. Okay? Remember, nag, kung gamay gani ang iyang head, it creates high pitch. And kung dako gani iyang head, it creates low pitch sound. Okay? So, we come to our last um, instrument. We have the selampong as the tar of 13 double string. Let's watch this video.
Ayan, so that is the selempong. As you can observe, this instrument is played horizontally, pahigda. Okay? And the, the player will sit um, in the um, front side of the instrument. Okay? So that is the last instrument that we have. Now, now I have here a video showing to how to make wayang kulit. This is a very short video about um, wayang kulit or a puppet, making a puppet in wayang kulit. Okay? I want to share this one to you, class. Okay? Watch this one. So that is very simple, diba? So that is how to make a um, simple puppet in wayang kulit. Now, we come to an end to um, watch another video about the whole performance of wayang kulit. But before that, I will give you first uh, a post test so that I can evaluate your knowledge or your ideas about in our discussion earlier. Now, let's have number one. Remember, every question have five seconds to you to answer. Number one, what does wayang kulit mean? Letter A, shadows. Letter B, shadow puppet. Letter C, puppets. Letter D, puppeteer. Your five seconds starts now. Alright, the correct answer is Letter B, Shadow Puppet. Next one, what does dalang mean? Letter A, Clown. Letter B, Puppet. Letter C, Puppeteer. Letter D, Screen. Your 5 seconds starts now. Alright, the correct answer is Letter C, the Puppeteer. Number 3, it is a two-string bowed instrument in gamelan. Letter A, Rebab. Letter B, Solok. Letter C, Suling. Letter D, Silimpong. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is letter A, Rebab. Let's have number four. It is a wooden or bamboo xylophone instrument in Gamelan Orchestra. Letter A, Gambang. Letter B, Suling. Letter C, Ribab. Letter D, Kano. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is... Gambang. Letter A, Gambang. Let's have the last item. It is considered as the traditional orchestra that accompanies wayang kulit. Letter A, Japanese. Letter B, Philharmonic. Letter C, Balinese. Letter D, Gamelan. Your files can start now. Alright! The correct answer is... Letter D, Gamelan. Now, I hope you got a perfect score in your post test. So that it that that's mean you are less uh, listening to our discussion earlier. Okay, before we will end our discussion, this is your evaluation. Or this is all about your performance. Okay, create your own rhythmic pattern using innovative instruments that are available in your place. But before that. I will share to you the rhythmic pattern in Gamelan Ensemble so that meron kayong susundan, alright? Now, this is the video of that.
Alright. Okay, I will give you freedom to choose what kind of materials you want to use. Basta kay available sa inyo ang balay. This is very fun class. Just send me or just link me the video in my personal messenger. Okay? Now, that is all about the rhythmic pattern of the gamelan ensemble. How about the performance of the gamelan ensemble in the wire kulit? Okay? You want to see or watch the video? Here we go. So that is the full or the short video about gamelan and symbol and wayang kulit. You can distinguish now the part of the gamelan and symbol and the dalang uh, manipulate or the puppeteer of the performances. Right? So this is the end of our um, discussion. But before I will say goodbye, I would like to thank the Teleradio team or the TVBI team of La Filipina National High School headed by their master teacher, Sir Harley Aglosolos. And I would like to give special thanks to Ma'am Marafe Dumalag for um, giving me a hand to polish my um, um, PowerPoint and give me idea of what uh, I want to uh, give me idea to um, impart to you class. Okay? And Another uh, special thanks to our principal, Dr. Jeffrey C. Villarosa, for giving me an uh, opportunity this time. <clears throat> and to our master teacher in MAPE, Ma'am Rochelle P. Lenueva, and Sir Reggie P. Limsan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you for watching. And again, this is your teacher broadcaster, Mr. Dan Arvin V. Almero, saying... Laban la Filipina, basta la Filipina, kuyao. Bye bye. And that's a wrap for our lesson in Music Aid. Thank you so much, Sir Dan. And also, I would like to thank everyone who made this episode possible. To 98.3 Gold FM, ang radio astig ng tagum for your unending support to the new normal education. And also, thank you so much everyone for listening and participating in this episode. Once again, this is your teacher host, Teacher Jessica Alina Rivila, saying, Always pray and stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye.